All right, welcome everyone, and especially to those who have just jumped on the call. Uh, welcome everyone to this training session today. You guys are in the right place at the right time. We're going to get go ahead and get started uh, right here and right now with this training session uh, that's been set up on this webinar. So once again, welcome everyone uh, who's just joining us and logging on uh, to today's training. This is the official training uh, for the Google Maps system that we're uh, about to share with you, something that you can implement uh, in your own business. And we really are talking about a system uh, that is proven to increase sales by as much as 40% uh, online while reducing cost per lead, uh, which is how much you're actually paying for each individual lead, by up to 89%. All right, and we're going to show you and you're going to find out how to use the Omni Google Maps system. Okay, so it's using Google Maps and we're going to get it to showing, we're going to get into showing you, uh, especially what that Omni part of it actually really means uh, to, to leverage and, and get those uh, cheaper leads and far higher conversion rates. Okay, and really the goal today is simple. Uh, the, the most important thing is to make sure that everyone on the, on the call really does harness this information and give them uh, an unfair advantage in the marketplace. Uh, because what we're going to share with you on today's training is something that is literally, it's epically trending up and people who actually get in front of this and use the value that you're going to learn in this webinar will actually position you so that the wave is going to push you. So you're going to be the one surfing the wave, not the one chasing it, and obviously not really being able to benefit from it. Okay, and so if you stay to the end especially, so that you can really get all of the, the content and information, we're going to show you how the actual system works. So even if you literally just want to walk away and do it yourself, you're going to find valuable information that's going to help you to actually do it if you're the DIY type of person. If you don't want someone else to be doing it for you, um, that's totally fine. You can absolutely use this. It's going to be good for us because you're also going to see us uh, in a good way. And it's going to help even our reputation and, and myself so that you go, you know what, those guys really do know what they're talking about. Um, and that's obviously good for our reputation as well. So there really is value uh, in, in sticking with the webinar. And of course, if you're a busy person, if you're a business owner and you're out there, you're working, right? And sometimes you might already uh, be quite busy, quite, uh, quite a full-on schedule, and you might be even managing a few people that work for you, but you want to scale or you need to keep them even busier because there's not quite enough work there for them and you want to actually really make some real money instead of just surviving and feel like you're just paying everyone's wages. Well, we're going to show you and give you a done for you resource as well uh, so that you can really power ahead and keep scaling and just keep focusing on your business. All right, well, let's um, get rid of all of our distractions. Let's turn off our mobile phones, turn off Facebook, close the uh, tabs on your computer that is going to distract you, close the door. And in the next 60 minutes, we're going to try and keep this under 60 minutes. Um, you are going to see a clear path about how you are going to get massive results in your business. It's not going to be something that's going to sort of be a little bit mysterious and you're not going to quite understand because you're not techy enough or anything like that. You are going to understand very simply the path that's going to take you from where you are to doubling and increasing the size of your business massively. All right, so... Let's get into it. So first of all, if you're wondering who I am, so I run our company, of course, Tell Media. My name is Reese Nawadic. And funnily enough, I also used to be a tradesman. And I used to just work locally, like the majority of people do in Australia. Uh, born in Ballarat, grew up in Wodonga, Albury Wodonga area. And so my trade was a wall and floor tiler. I did a lot of pool tiling as well. Our family's in the pool construction industry. So I did a lot of pool tiling, but ended up obviously moving into your wall and floor tiling in houses and so forth. Uh, did that for quite a few years and moved into marketing and never looked back. I found something massive 
that I could not just do for myself, but also do for other people. And it actually grew grew so rapidly that we, we moved into our biggest year doing over a million bucks. And I remember sitting there thinking, this is crazy, like, this is just scaling and it's just continuing to move forward. And instead of having to employ another four million people and, and sort of be stressed and consume even more of my time, it was all based on literally the one strategy, but just doing it over and over again. It, it, liter- it, was li- it is life changing. I mean, in a couple of days, I'm going and looking at buying different yachts. Um, we're looking at move. There's just so many different things that have changed uh, my life and the decisions that I've been able to make. And it comes down to these same strategies. So I really am speaking from a place of someone who is used to just running a local business, working as a contractor, and then seeing how powerful uh, doing these types of strategies really are in, in business. And so, as I was saying, this is a, something local. So it's going to run, and you're going to look at it and get to the end of this and think, well, that was a waste of time. I can't do that. I can't spend that sort of money. That's crazy, let alone the time to actually create it. I just couldn't do it. This is not like that. Okay, it's, it's quite a very simple, straightforward thing to do. Then you just scale the same thing. You basically do it over and over again to, to, to scale it up. And it has know, limitless, well, not limitless as such, I guess, uh, that scalability is as much as the amount of people that exist on the earth is, is the amount of people that you can market to. Um, so that's the, the ceiling of the scalability, of course. And the best part of it, which I, I certainly want to highlight, is I was only working three days a week, all right, and I still am, because I focus on what I love to do. I focus on things that are, I, I see as far more important to do uh, with my time. Obviously, I still want to make good money, have a good business, uh, but there are other things to, to do that I see in my life. You have to have a particular uh, pioneering approach, one could say, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, to keep things at bay and keep your work uh, in a place where you have to optimize it so it works in a specific way so that you can still focus on more important things. All right? And I still do it. I still focus on what I love and I'm not worrying about paying the bills. And so I can tell you now this is not something that's going to complicate your life. Okay? So that is one thing that I think that you'll appreciate uh, when, we, when we actually move through this material. Okay, so as you would understand, a lot of businesses feel that their industry is getting more competitive. It's either getting more competitive or basically the work seems to be kind of drying up and they're not really sure what's happening and they might try a little bit of marketing uh, and struggling to make it effective. Sort of not really sure what's happening in the marketplace because things are, are changing rapidly and we all know that everything's going online but if you're not up with it, well, it can be a mystery. You don't know what's happening. And so a lot of businesses are stuck. They don't really have a proper plan, like I was talking about before, a proper plan, a proper roadmap to get those customers so that they can see themselves growing without always being scared of where they're going to get more, more work and more customers from. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. That's what we're going to change uh, for you today. And the real truth is, at the end of the day, uh, when looking at uh, my situation is that it was pretty hard it was it was a hard we discovered this the hard way all right so even when i got into the marketing scene our fulfillment team uh, we have worked with a lot of businesses a lot of different industries everything you can think of out there i have had so many different people working for me or i just couldn't even blink because all my time was spent just trying to give work to your employees and keep them busy and keep everything afloat. Like, it it is stressful. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And we were managing massive amounts of money, spending other people's budgets, obviously, on marketing and just turning over crazy amounts of of money and delivering thousands and thousands of leads and phone calls to businesses. And then, really, that's when I actually stood back from it all and put together the simplified approach, the real cream of the crop. You hear of the 80-20 rule? This is like the 20 that's going to change your life. And so 
the benefit for you is you're going to basically get that easy way through this. You're going to get the, the cheat sheet, um, so to speak, to be able to, to actually to move through this. And the, the main thing that you need to keep in mind is you have to change your focus. Okay? So what we focus on, the way we look at internet marketing now, is seeing it like a virtual salesperson. Okay? So it's not about running people through it purely an online gauntlet and you'll never ever see them and talk to them and deal with them. You're bringing people from the online world to the offline world. You're the one bringing them back to reality, basically, as they do their searching online. And it's as simple as that, all right? So the view is that you need to set something up online when everyone's putting their time into searching and wasting time on social media and mucking around on the internet. You're going, we're gonna set something up that it becomes that virtual salesperson that sits online for you 24 seven, whatever time it is that your prospects are online, and it will be better than you are when it comes to even showing them what you do, because obviously if we could do that, well, we're certainly gonna, it's gonna help our own personal time, isn't it? And we can automate it so that when leads actually come through to us, we don't have to waste our time on cultivating them and taking them through an exhausting uh, sales funnel. Is that that cultivation and, or, and, and automation of, of that is that's happening whilst people are doing their research online ends up popping out to you, someone giving you a phone call and saying, "Hey, can you give me a quote? Hey, can you give me a price on that? Hey, I want to do business. Just tell me the details and let's you know make it happen and we'll work through this instead of wasting your time." And unfortunately, you go and talk to a lot of marketing companies, and I used to be that, that uh, type of guy as well. Yeah, you, give these, you give all these businesses a big spiel about what's going to change their life from a marketing point of view, and you, you, you teach them about the, the sales funnel that they need to take people through. It just doesn't happen. They don't do it. So I'm going to show you how to automate it. So you don't have to spend all your time doing it and doing what's generally preached to you by marketing people. And the power that we're actually sitting on top of and the real engine that we're going to do this on top of is, is Google Maps. Now, when it comes to Google Maps, sometimes people think, what? Don't you mean Google SEO? Don't you mean Google search? Yes, that is in combination with this, but the actual major trend that we're focusing on, because we want to be in front of the trend, it's Google Maps marketing. You see, when people are looking for something that's local, all right, they're looking for an actual local business, they want to know whether the local business is situated in a physical location locally, okay? So if someone's looking for a particular restaurant, they get on their phone and they want to know, is this in Five Dog? Is this in, you know, Darling Harbour? Is this in... Uh, St. Kilda, uh, I want to know whether I can pick up something from a nursery in Aubrey Wodonga. I want to know if it's in Wagga Wagga. I want to know if it's in Darwin. Uh, they want to know and they already have a, a feeling that they need to source it within a physical distance from where they are. Okay, And that is the mindset that is trending online. Even when people search, they search and they type in something like pizza shops near me. And because they're typing that in, Google is doing the heavy lifting. And they're saying, did you say uh, pizza restaurant? Did you say sushi? You want sushi near you? Okay, well, you're located just here. You're walking through Hyde Park. Here you go. Here's a whole bunch of sushi restaurants around you. Take your pick. Look at their reviews. Look at their website. Look at their, their menus. Look at the times that they're open. <coughs> in fact, look at when they're busy and when they're not in case you don't want to wait too long for your meal. Google has created this resource that people are obsessing over and are using all the time. They're opening up their Google Maps app and they're doing a search for a service or a product in a local area. That's how they're actually beginning to do their actual research and, and their actual journey. So let's get into how to make this work for you. Otherwise, I'm going to just talk too much, let's, let's, let's keep focused here. Part one is creating a Google Maps account that is going to rank at the top of those listings. So here's an example of a client, we've got a pool construction company, 
at the top. They've got two different actual physical locations, but here's one of them in one city. And the benefit of this is when people obviously search for anything to do with pools, these guys are there. Anything to do with servicing, construction, and so forth, right? They're there. Okay, so there's obviously a flow of traffic that goes straight in there. People can look at their photos, they can look at reviews, they can literally do everything that they would want to do on your website anyway. They can do it straight away right there in Google Maps. Okay, even if you didn't have a website, you could do it right there in Google Maps, all of your information. You could literally, without a website, be generating leads and valuable phone calls by ranking right there and having a very well optimized listing with all the details about your business that Google knows people just want to know immediately. Okay? Now, it's a, it's a two-edged sword which really makes this powerful because everyone sits there and goes, no, 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 I need to do SEO. I need to do SEO. I just, when people normally search in Google, I want to appear there. I don't, I'm not, this Google Maps thing, yeah, maybe, maybe that's what you're trying to sell to me, you know, you're the big preacher on Google Maps, but I want to be there on SEO. And here's the power. Google will place the Google Maps results inside the normal Google search and have a guess who's going to be right up the top. You guessed it, the person who's at the top of the Google Maps listings. And so the real power starts to come through where you get the dual effect. You rank in maps and you rank in normal SEO. And all these other guys will be spending thousands of dollars on SEO and you're killing it. You're above them. And they, they're not happy. They're pissed. They're, they're like, this, what's going on? And they turn around to their SEO company and go, why the heck are we not there? Why aren't we there? We're paying all this money. And in fact, if you're already spending money on, on, on SEO and you need these types of listings, well, you definitely need to, to talk to us about how to make that happen. But you're going to learn how to do it in this, any, in this uh, webinar anyway. So as an example, companies can go like this one, 35 inquiries. They're doing normal SEO. Things are going pretty well. You, you create a very well optimized and do all of the, the necessary things which I'm going to show you in a moment to actually rank in those Google Maps and get that full domination. You can triple, just about triple the amount of inquiries that you get, especially using the system which we call the Omni Google Maps system. Okay, It's literally better than SEO. I said it. That's it. For local businesses, this is better than SEO. And some people will freak out when I say that, especially other marketing people that are no doubt listening to this call, wondering what on earth their competitors are up to. And it's true. They, they know it. Just look at the data, right? The data doesn't lie. So here's a couple of examples uh, of results and things that, um, that people are getting. Got a client, an electrician, once implementing this, 41% more leads and their cost lowered, right? So do that math. That's incredible. And the opportunity is huge. You can do a bit of Facebook marketing, do a bit of Google marketing, you can do your retargeting, you can do what you want to normally do. Literally 1% of the people out there are doing what we're going to actually show, what we are showing you right now. And so the opportunity is huge. You've got to do this before everyone else starts doing it. You don't, you don't do this when you finally see all your competitors doing it and think, well, I better do it now, otherwise I'm going to miss out. No, if they're already doing it, you've already missed out because you want to be ahead of the actual wave. You want to be the leader in the market, all right? You want to be the one that other people are looking at going, man, we're going to do it. He's doing it. That guy, they're killing it. It's fantastic. So this is an opportunity. And I'll even just show you when you look at Google Trends as to what people are doing when it comes to using uh, their map search and looking for things around them. Look at that. Look at that, that interest and where that is going. I mean, you don't have to be a scientist to figure out where that trend is going, okay? And especially when you even look at the different peaks uh, and troughs here in, in, in this actual, um, in, the, in the actual chart here, is they coincide especially with um, holiday seasons and, and end of year and so forth, where it just goes mental through the roof. It's like triples the amount of, actual people searching for local things. And if you're not there, have a guess where that's going. It's going to someone else, all right? And so this 
trend of having a proper, full, omnipresent Google Maps uh, ranking is literally what you can you can see what's happening to the trend. If you don't do it, and talk, this is like one. Remember, this is what the population of people are wanting to do when they search, but only one percent of businesses are actually connecting and actually like reaping the rewards of it, all right? So then how do you, let's do it. Let's talk about how it actually gets done. How do you rank to number one, all right? So you've set up a really good listing, you went onto Google Maps, open up a business listing account and you've set it up, right? It's not rocket science, very simple to do. Go across to Google Business, all right? But how do you actually rank? Well, it all works based on reputation points. Now, we all have heard about the Google algorithm you do a search and they have decide what appears. And it's the, the million dollar, trillion dollar secret in understanding their, their algorithm because if you could literally rank as you wish, well, you're gonna be able to kill it with your business and, and just really kick butt. And so it works on reputation points, okay? So reviews, yes, but not just reviews the authority of the other websites linking across your Google Maps account and to your, and to your website, yes, you need that authority. You need to build local authenticated uh, business listings on other directories. We need to set up information with your company on trusted identity websites. So websites that are seen as Google as only having information, they would only ever post that information if it was verified. Okay, and so that would then, once that is then posted, it then credits across from an identity trust point of view um, to your actual Google Maps listing. And so Google is looking at, all right, who's re who, who on the internet is reviewing this company? What other websites that we regard as important and that have authority have information about this, uh, this, this company? Right, who contains their address and local information so that we can see that they are actually located there besides them just telling us where they're located? What about their identity? Who's the business owner? What's their business number? How does this all connect? Is this a legitimate thing? Do they really service this particular radius in this particular town? Or are they just trying to set themselves up there and they don't really do it? So all of these reputation points, this is how you get a listing on Google Maps and to get to the top, all right? And the last thing you can see there, which is our real specialty, is when people actually do searches, and you, you often see something uh, on a, a lot of websites, not just on Google, even on Amazon and other sites, it'll always pop up underneath and it say, are you actually looking for this? Or are you also interested in this? Would you, would you potentially be interested in this as well? Have you seen that? Of course, I'm sure you have especially on, on shopping cart websites and things like that, but even it's happening on search, being optimized so that you show up under a large volume of synonyms and other keywords where you are shown as a, would you might be interested in this and then your company's shown, literally will catapult your leads to another level, right? It will, it will change. It will, you'll sit there and go, I didn't even think that, <laughs> I never envisioned this happening in our business, okay? So here, this is a little cheat sheet for you as to what you need to do. And I'm even gonna go beyond that. Let's look at what I'm actually talking about in the real world. And here's, I think there's about 12 websites here. Now, we're talking about places that Google sees with certain authority. And you can see there, if you go across to Yelp, True Local, Hot Frog, Womo, and, and DLook, and you set up a business profile, it goes across, you, you verify it in the way that they want it to be verified, verifying your contact details and email address and phone number. And the, when they send you an SMS and they call you on the phone and they send you a postcard with a code, go to the websites, and this will give you obviously a head start with some of the real powerful ones that can be used, especially in Australia. You fill in the details, you, you 
create a listing, fill in as much information as you can so that it's a very a nice bulky listing. And some of them you do have to pay for, especially the ones that are, are going to push you forward. Uh, but it's what needs to be done to obviously get you to rank. Now, there is a bit of work involved in it uh, to really dominate and, and get up there. You generally need to at least do maybe 100 of these. If you really want to, especially if there's a little bit of competition and you want to just maximize not just being number one on page one but actually at the very very top number one on page one then you really gotta there's a bit of time involved um and you might have to do yeah 500 plus uh, to really really dominate but that is how ranking on google maps works that's that's what you got to do and remember you do get the dual effect Okay, so you might think, well, it sounds like a lot of work. Well, that's what SEO is. It is a lot of work. And that's why most people outsource it. It does take a lot of time, but it does have to be done right. Okay, and doing normal SEO is not the same as doing Google Maps SEO. Okay, and so this is its own little specialty, but it has that extra power where you get the SEO rankings and you get the Maps rankings. Awesome or what? I hope that's really sort of changed the way uh, that you, you see uh, how, how things work and especially the, what's, what's available to you out there you know, online and what you could even do yourself. If you live in a, a very small area and you just want to do it yourself, you, know, you might only have to do those 10, 10 different um, um, listings that I showed you just back there on the, on the last slide and you might just pop straight up there immediately. Um, but for most businesses, if there is you know, at least some competition out there, well, then you're going to have to yeah, do a lot more of those uh, business listings and make sure that you actually uh, get those reputation points up to a level where you're going to be seen as number one reputation wise. All right. Now, that's 50% of the scenario. All right. Just doing that alone can totally change businesses' lives. Right, or, or people, business owners' lives. All right? Just doing this, getting ahead of the trend, getting on Google Maps. But now, let's look at part two. And this is the, the real slingshot to, to everything. This is the real difference between a local business who's doing well and a local business that is absolutely killing it and expanding and the, the, uh, they're limitless in, in regards to, to what they can do. They can literally just multiply and multiply and multiply and multiply because there's a consistent flow and ability for them to scale. So, so now we're going to look at how to amplify those maps and SEO listings. How do we amplify them when we want to scale up? The big problem and why scaling is hard is people leave your site. They go and just check out a couple more websites. Right? They just start surfing around, just checking out other websites, and then they, they forget. They forget where you were. They forget what, what happened, and they think, oh, well, I'll, I'll get back to it eventually. Um, and so they just keep using the internet as it is. All right, so let's look at how to supercharge those listings and stop this major problem uh, from happening. And the solution is the combination of becoming omnipresent with remarketing ads. So omnipresence means you're everywhere. You're all over the place. Okay? Now, the solution, or as a solution, as, as an example, um, a couple of weeks ago, I was sitting on the beach uh, over in Phuket, over in Thailand, and just chilling out and looked over to the right and there's a bunch of uh, Frenchies who were um, a few nice looking uh, girls sitting there and a few other friends of theirs and, and uh, beautiful day. And they're uh, pumping this music, this really cool chill out music, some sort of like Cafe Del Mar, you know, fr French. I don't know what it was, but everything sounds so good in French anyway. So this Bluetooth speaker was just pumping away they're changing the songs, and oh, man, the sound was just so good. It was just sen sensational vibes, you know. And um, I started just thinking about this, 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 this speaker. I was like, man, that speaker was so cool. 
Yeah, I need a speaker like that. I need a speaker like that so I can put one on my boat. I need one for this. I, need one. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I really wanted that speaker. So what do you think I did when I got home? Jumped on Amazon. Typed in Bluetooth speaker. And have a guess what? I'm looking around at all these different Bluetooth speakers. Then I got distracted. Someone was calling out to me about dinner being ready and then the dogs started barking. You know, someone saying, hey, it's freezing. Can you go and get some wood and all the rest of it back, back here in Victoria? It's absolutely freezing cold. And you just forget. You just forget what you're doing because you just got distracted. So, I mean, does that happen to you? I'm pretty sure it does. I mean, it happens to most of us, doesn't it? Uh, you're, you're doing something. You're on your phone. And then as you're doing it, a phone call comes through and you're like, ah, just in the middle of doing something on my mobile phone. <laughs> this person called me. And then you start talking to them and you forget what you're even doing. And then you just move on to whatever you're doing, right? And you, you don't get to actually finish what you're doing, okay? So you, you exit out of the, the website, exit out of Amazon. But then the next day, what do you end up seeing? You're, you're there on Facebook, and have a guess what? A little ad pops up for that particular speaker that I was just looking at on Amazon yesterday. So that is remarketing. That's what remarketing is. You're on the website, the advertising platforms in the background all talk to each other and go, hey, this guy looks like he's interested in this speaker. So you jump onto Facebook or anything, a range of different platforms, boom. There's a little picture of that same speaker. I'm like, oh, there it is. Fantastic. I forgot about that. Now I've got a couple of minutes now. I'll click on it and I'll go through, go through and, uh, and order one of those. All right? So that ability to track people based on what they're currently interesting, interested in is massive. All right? It is absolutely massive. And, and when you actually look at some of the statistics uh, that, that actually work around remarketing, that generally speaking, 80% of sales do require five follow-up interactions or phone calls um, after the initial uh, connection with whatever it is that they either saw, heard about, or spoke to someone about. Okay, They need to think of it at least five times. So therefore, they generally need to have it pushed into their, put in front of them an average of five times for them to actually make that definitive uh, decision on what to actually what to actually do okay and so when when you really look at I guess the power of remarketing remarketing makes everything else better it amplifies everything that your customers choose to do because remarketing follows them and looks at what their actions are and then it goes and shows them say hey you remember this you remember this you interested in this do you remember you were trying to achieve this you're like, oh yeah, there it is. I was trying to do that. All right. And it's automated. It's the best part of all. All right. So it's going to make, if you're doing SEO, this is going to make your SEO better. If you're doing Google Maps, this is going to do you, you, you make your Google, Google Maps that I was just talking about before better. All right. But you're just referring people to your website, just word of mouth. People are just visiting your website because you talk to them or someone refers them. It's going to follow them around. So it's going to make it better. You're posting content. You're doing things on Facebook, Instagram. You're doing pay-per-click. This will make it better. All right? This will give you a far higher conversion rate when implemented, especially when in conjunction, in conjunction with those other traffic generating uh, resources. So here's one uh, particular study uh, showing that website visitors who are retargeted with display ads are more likely to convert by 70%. Right now, that's pretty ridiculous. It's kind of a big deal, right? Remarketing and retargeting is absolutely a no-brainer. It's something you have to start doing, and once again, it's something that one percent of companies are doing properly. All right, so this is like a dual, supercharged, powerful way to drive your business forward when it comes to doing your online marketing. Okay, and. The best of all, best thing of all, even if you're already doing things on the internet, it's highly likely you're not doing either of these two things, let alone doing them properly, where you're getting the results. You're actually ranking and you're getting those leads and you're getting these types of statistics in your business. All right. Now, the best thing, I guess, that from an ROI, return on investment point of view, is essentially these are the lowest cost 
highest yielding ads on the planet. Right? So when you're looking for something that's actually, I want to do the best thing, but I want to spend the least amount of money. This is it. This is what it is right here. Lowest cost, highest yielding ads on the planet. Now, something to, to of course, keep in mind, and we're going to go through why that's the case, how that can be implemented, okay? Because we're going to give you that value as well, show exactly how to do it, show you what you need to understand, all right? Is that the reality is, and this is what sets you apart from your competition, statistics show 91% of businesses are leaving 30, 40, 50% of their sales on the table because they don't do any of these things, all right? And so chances are that it could be you leaving that on the table just with your own traffic and your own marketing not set up to properly optimize or at least convert uh, as well as it, 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 it can. So retargeting uh, friends, doing a Google Maps marketing system, and then when you need to boost the lead volume, you have your Omni retargeting, which pretty much just works like gangbusters uh, by default because of how just logical and obvious it is about human nature, about them forgetting and then seeing that thing that they wanted and going back and getting it. It literally is literally just like default, turning it on and it works, all right? And so this is the key for a lot of local customers, okay? Absolute key. So what I wanna do with you now is show you the three OmniMaps targeting secrets. This is why it works so well from all of the money that we've spent on doing it and what we've narrowed it down to. These are the three secrets, especially if you're a DIY person, you're gonna, your brain's gonna explode and you're gonna love this, all right? These are the three secrets that I wanna share with you, all right? So secret number one, okay? Um, you need to be omni, you need to be relevant, right? Secret number two is you need to have omni-channel and number three is about omni-rotation. All right, so I'm gonna break this down now and, and make it uh, a lot easier to understand. So secret number one, being omni-relevant, all right? That means basically just retargeting or showing those ads repeatedly based on what they were ser searching for, all right? And so I went to Amazon, looked for a Bluetooth speaker, went away even later on that day or the next day or two days later on Facebook, hey, there's that ad there's that particular speaker that I wanted, all right? So having that relevance means that you can do that by installing little bits of special code given to you by advertising platforms that then help you, or, or, or actually they do it for you, see what they were doing, see what they're interested in, and then make the decision as to where they can show the ad to them as that person is surfing online, okay? so. It's showing them what they were looking for, right? It's pretty obvious, but it still has to be set up right because it's not just about showing them an ad. So for example, I could be running this webinar and talking about Google Maps, or I could be running another webinar or selling another service about web design, or I could be selling another service that is about selling skincare creams with our other company, um, and you go to the skincare website, and then you go to and you go to back to Facebook, and then a telemedia internet marketing ad pops up. Well, that means it's not set up correctly. The person's interested in skincare, and and not just skincare, they're interested in a face cleanser that can get rid of dark spots on their face. So it has to be relevant, very very relevant, and so it obviously has to be put together in that particular way that's going to uh, make them remember. That's the key. You're going to make them remember what they were interested in previously. Okay. Now, we don't want to show up too much either because it can get annoying. Right? So when I say showing up repeatedly, I don't mean to the annoying level. We're going to get into how, how that can work. All right? So the tracking needs to be done right so that it becomes very, very, very laser targeted and relevant. And you need to know when people are clicking on these ads, which ones are converting. So the relevance is there, and then when you're getting sales, it's like that's the one that's actually getting us all the sales. Right there, positioned on that website. After people go to our website, this is, this is our real money maker, and this is the little path that they're taking. All right? Omni-relevant, that's what we're talking about there. Now, when it comes to that actual setup, 
the tracking needs to be set up, the Google Maps account needs to be set up. Um, the second step is that you have to create ads, just like that one, the Amazon JBL Bluetooth speaker. Uh, there has to be ads that will appear in different places. And so you need to create an ad that Facebook will accept. And a different ad, one that they will accept on a mobile phone, one they'll accept on a desktop computer, one they'll accept that's smaller, one that's skinny and tall, and all these different types of ads, okay? So we need to select and create ads and ad sizes that will uh, will configure and actually run when we want them to run. So the setup is absolutely vital, okay? And so the, the, the major thing when in building the campaign out, obviously, is your tracking, setting up, optimizing the account, having your ads created. Last thing there is your audiences, all right? Let me go into this, because this is kind of a, a big deal. We create an, aud an audience so that it will show ads to different segments of that group of people, different segments of that audience, okay? So for example, we'll show a specific set of ads to somebody that maybe just visit our website maybe a day, one day to seven days ago. Then we'll show a different sequence of ads to someone who visited eight to 14 days ago. And then a different sequence of ads, 15 to 21 and so on, right up to 60 days, okay? And you guys might be thinking, that's ridiculous, it's like so complicated. <laughs> You're losing me, I'm falling asleep. You've probably walked away. If you've walked away, come back to the computer. Okay, so it is a little bit too much detail, all right, and it starts to get a little bit hectic, but you know what, it works like crazy. And like I said, we're gonna show you a done for you resource. So it becomes really easy for you to do. i not even have to do, all right, it's literally, so don't stress out about that, all right? But th that, showing them those different ads at different sequence periods, like different periods of time, stops them from getting really bored and stops them from basically zoning out. Okay, so you constantly just capture their attention a little bit by little bit, right? Let's move on to secret number two. We're talking about being omni-channel. So what is this actually talking about? Well, when someone leaves your website after looking at something that they're interested in, where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna go? They're gonna go to Facebook? Or are they going to go to Twitter? Are they going to go to LinkedIn? Are they going to check their email, Gmail? Are they going to go and watch a movie on YouTube? Are they going to go on Instagram? And then maybe they only went to Facebook, and then tomorrow they didn't open Facebook. They just started surfing Instagram when they woke up. And then later on that night, they just started watching videos on YouTube. Okay, so omni-channel means you need to have all of these different ads available so that whatever it is that that person decides to do, boom, you're going to be there. All right? You're going to be available to show them what they were interested in and remind them across any of those major platforms once they jump onto them and actually use them. And even more than that, not even just these major platforms, but see, Google, like the one in the middle there, Google Display Network, they have advertising rights across a monstrous amount of other websites. Amazon, CNN, TripAdvisor, all these other websites that have massive authority. And when businesses or rather, when people see businesses and see your business on those websites, they think, man, this company's really, uh, they're really set up. They're really everywhere. Look at them. These guys are, are, um, are doing well. They're doing very well. So it actually creates a lot of trust uh, in, in your actual, in your business and the way that you're actually being displayed across all of these websites that have a lot of authority. Okay? And so... Having that advertising everywhere allows you to connect with them at the intervals wherever they are. Not where you want them to be, but wherever they are, all right? And especially one of the big things being seen on YouTube is that uh, when people obviously spend a bit of time on YouTube, some people, they don't, uh, they don't wanna actually get on and create a video so that they, just, they their face is on YouTube. Um, and that's fine because there's a, a lot of other ways of creating these ads where you don't even have to have your own physical face on there. Um, but we can set that up. It can, it can be set up for you um, inside Gmail. Obviously, people checking their email. It's the largest inbox and email system out there in the world. Um, and so, so many people 
using their email, and we are too, uh, use their email and, and they run it all through Gmail and G Suite um, to be able to to be able to actually run their company emails, everything. Okay, and so chances are, especially Gmail as being a real powerhouse with this um, this this retargeting ability, um, they're going to be able to see a lot more as well. Uh, because in Gmail, they can see reviews of, of your website. They can see a lot of extra information uh, that really does stand out in their actual mind. Okay, And so Traffic Fuel is another one. We often get asked about that. It's another advertising network that has reach over a large amount of websites. Just These are ones that Google has um, partnerships with, but, but uh, Traffic Fuel just has a, a broader reach, especially on local businesses. Uh, because they actually pay them more to allow them to to uh, have their ad on there. Um, so when it really drills down to it, retargeting is literally the only advertising that makes everything else absolutely awesome. Okay. So here's a couple of case studies looking at that Sydney electrician. Previously, they were paying over $100 a lead getting it down to $29 a lead just for the retargeting ads only. So they're still getting all the other conversions, all the other leads, and then they're getting that additional um, set of leads coming through. A real estate case study, real estate agent, uh, 16 out of 83 of their conversions is because their retargeting was set up. Okay, So the, the actual cost per action of their entire account 25% of that actually dropped because they had that retargeting set up. And they're simple, simple campaigns. Um, there's nothing ultra about it except for, of course, the, the ad creation and making sure it's all set up correctly. Um, but it makes a huge difference. I mean, another example is uh, you've got the uh, a massage um, company. They've got quite a few different um, massage places throughout Brisbane and moving down now into Sydney as well. Um, these guys do very elite spa, probably shouldn't have even written mass out, like spa packages. People are going in there and spending 500 bucks. And they don't go once, because they love it. It's such a good user, you know, good experience. They go back and they bring their friends back. And so there's calculations that taken into, into account in sort of an average of like six months is they'll have a value of a couple of thousand dollars for someone that they get. So when they start getting people paying customers in the door for as little as $33, it's a big deal. Even if they end up spending $200 or $50 or $80, compared to what they were spending previously, this is giving them monstrous potential to scale at will and do it in a way that they can calculate. All right, yeah, sure, you're spending a little bit of money on marketing, but what are they getting back and how quickly are they getting it back from work they never had. And they're building a huge database of customers that are just gonna keep coming back. That lifetime value within the six months, if it was an actual true lifetime value, not actually a six months value, which I probably should have written there, uh, it could be $5,000. Like, keeping people on their list like that and giving them that good experience is crazy. The only issue, like we were talking about, is the ad creation. It, it's a nightmare. You know, you got your display network, your ads, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of it. You can have up to up to um, 42 different ads, all these different sizes, creating everything to fit and be approved by all different ad platforms with actual content that they will approve. And it takes time. No one wants to do it. Anyway, let's move on to, to the third secret, omni-rotation. And this one will really sink in for a lot of people because whenever they see those ads that follow them around the internet, sometimes it gets annoying. So here's the thing when it comes to omni-rotation. It's about the frequency, that how often someone sees your ad. So how often they see this one ad, and then how often they see the next ad, and then how often they see the next ad, okay? Because there's a thing called banner blindness on the internet, all right? People... They just literally switch off to ads. They skip ads. They do a Google search, they skip ads. They, they are doing something on Facebook, they skip it. All right? They, something catches their eye, they do look at it. All right. Oh, they see it again. Caught their eye a couple of times now. And now in their peripherals, they just don't flinch. Their peripherals is already telling their brain, you've already seen it twice, you don't care about it, forget about it. All right? Forget it. Don't worry about it. So frequency will tell us 
uh, the, the ad platforms will tell us how many times these people have been seeing your ad. Okay? Now, this is the interesting thing about the cost associated with frequency. The higher the frequency, it, said, it shows here, that the lower that the click-through rate will be, but the higher your cost per click will be. This is a very, 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 very interesting thing to keep in mind. Okay? Now, controlling your frequency, being able to control that, is going to change everything. All right? Because with, when it comes to the actual the, the banner blindness issue, once people start to, to get to that they've, after they've seen it a couple of times, that's when their attention goes down. And that's when, obviously, their attention goes down, which means you, they're not actually clicking on it as much, which means, have a guess what? The click cost goes very, very high. The ad platforms automatically adjust it so that they still get all their money back for all the amount of times they've been showing your ad. And then even if you're paying cost per click, they just charge you way more for that click. Okay? So when you look at that, you can see that there on that graph. So the, the higher that the frequency goes, the higher that the cost goes. But the higher the frequency goes, the lower the quality is of the prospect. So really, well, let's cap it right back there to just the number two, or even one and a half on average. Now, your costs are peanuts, absolutely peanuts, and you're really just getting the cream of their actual attention. All right? So when it comes to that, that, that um, example, when you just want to stay in front of, and you, you apply this where you cap that frequency, and you want to stay in front of 5,000 people a month, you want to show them a whole bunch of different ads throughout the month, it costs you 150 bucks. It's peanuts because your cost per click is so cheap because your frequency is so low because you're actually playing the game with their platform and it works. They're, they're happy. They want you to do that because that's the way that they, they set up their actual um, advertising platform. They want stuff that people are actually, to give their attention to and if they don't, they don't care because it ruins the quality of their platform. Okay? And so the first way that we actually deal with this banner blindness is, is of course lowering that frequency. Okay? Now the second way that we deal with it is taking 10, 20, 30 different ads and they only see it once or a couple of times max. So then you've got that constant attention, constant attention, constant attention, constant attention, costing you the, 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 the cheapest amount of money for the highest amount of attention. And that's how we deal with it, all right? And we cut out ad spend to, to, to stay in front of all these people. We cut the ad spend drastically, all right? Cutting out 80 to 90% of your ad spend, all right? This literally is it's the highest yielding, cheapest way to do your advertising, okay? And now looking at the, um, the, the third part of, of the whole system, and I'll move in, I'll just click over to it now. Um, when people don't actually take action, <clears throat> so they, they, they might uh, pay attention, they don't actually take action. We know that they fit into one of these three buckets. It's because they, they want a crazy deal, they haven't found it. They want a, rep, a, a company that, that they need to really, really trust, they haven't found it. Or they're looking for something super specific or a ser service and they just can't find what they're actually looking for. Okay, So they, they end up fitting into one of these different actual buckets. So the way that we deal with this is, first of all, is the offer in our ads. The offers are time sensitive, they're relative to the stage of the journey that they're at, and it actually gets them to go, oh, if I, I, I may not see this again, I'll, 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 I'll check it out, okay? So having the type of offer makes a big difference. The, the branding, the specific uh, review of ads, so if a customer is looking for a, a specific product or a service, and we then want to show ads based on other people's experiences with that brand. Okay? And of course, there are some restrictions in some industries, and you have to abide by that. Uh, but showing people and building confidence in a brand is what branding ads are all about. So we show people your unique position, your unique features, and show other people's experiences and why you're the best choice, or why they think you're the best choice, to give them that confidence. Okay, and then that of course ties in with actual reviews, which are just flat out. They can be just flat out testimonials um, from other platforms. Okay, then we tie all of this in 
by the fourth type of ad, which is seasonal. All right, is if there's different types of actual um, holidays and things, if 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 there's a big uh, uh, a holiday and you know there's some whatever public holiday, everyone's away on holidays in Christmas. Well, there's no use showing your ad to them because they're not going to buy. All right, if you're if you're a, a tradesman and you're working between you know the middle of December to the first week in January. The only people calling you are people that want you to finish the jobs that you've already started. Uh, but having the actual timing of your ads running in a particular way also totally cuts down you know, that ad spend and the way that it actually uh, works inside your account. So this is, this is like the little vortex that people get stuck in okay, when they visit your website. Or they go to your Maps account and they click on your SEO on SEO, whatever it is, right? Is that if you, we zoom back out, is that they see who you are and what you're doing, okay? You take them through, you give them a particular offer in the first week, a different one in the second, a different one in the third, a different one in the fourth, and so on, right until an average maximum generally of 90 days. It all depends on the type of industry that you're in, uh, but 60 is probably usually the max, um, to actually entice the person and, and maximize the amount of people that will actually convert out of those who have seen your website, seen what you do, seen your reviews, and seen your actual prices as well. But like I was saying, and this is kind of the killer of it all, ad creation, total nightmare. And it costs a lot of money. Like if you pay someone six, seven dollars for each of these little ads, when you actually have to put together 126 ads, it can cost you well over $500 you 700 800 900 over a thousand bucks and if you want to be doing this every couple of months kind of blows everything out of the water um, because you still got to pay someone if it, obviously if you're not doing it yourself you're still pay someone to manage it they're going to take those ads and they're going to manage it. they're going to run the system you're going to still pay management fees then you're still going to pay for your ad spend and sure ad spend super cheap like we've been showing but this is kind of one of the the big problems right it's a lot of ad creation so just to review with the secret number three, it's the rotation. It's changing the banners all the time and not allowing them to appear too often so that you maximize the amount of attention that you, that you actually get from people. All right, so as an overview, it needs to be relevant. Retargeting repeatedly, but just for what they were specifically interested in. Then it needs to be cross-channel, omni-channel, seeing it on all these different spots and, and not displaying on every single platform once or twice, but if they only go to this platform, it just shows them once there. Go to the next platform, platform only shows them once there. So they don't get as a combined system, they only see it a couple of times. Really works having that complete system running and linked in together. Okay, and then of course that rotation, secret number three, changing out the banner ads to control the frequency, and then literally, the magic starts to happen. It's crazy how powerful it really is. Okay, now a couple of examples. We got Everlast Pools here. These guys um, literally have changed their entire business. Um, it, it's it, it has absolutely changed their life. Um, the way that um, business has been able to grow. And I think even as Javen says, search. this has made me or us get so many inquiries that we can't actually keep up with them. We've got that much work that Everlast Bulls and Spas is better than I ever thought it would be. And that is a common situation. It is, business goes better than you think it would. It's very hard to, to trust and, and, and know if something's going to work. And you kind of, we all hope, wish it's going to. But when you move past someone's expectations, Especially from our point of view, you know that you're on a winner. You're actually really helping people, making a, a real serious difference uh, with their business. As a window cleaning? My business is vis-a-vis -vis window cleaning. Um, I'm stationed on the Gold Coast and I've been um, working along with Reese. He's been doing uh, my search engine optimization for about five years, from 2013. So, another testimony he goes into it. He, he's, I don't want to drag this on too long, but Biggest contracts have come through setting up 
um, the system that I've been talking about today. Um, we got. You can look here at some of the stats, the amount of calls that people are getting, 20, 30 calls a week, uh, roofing, obviously also changing with the seasons and so forth, but being able to ramp that up where they're getting you know, 50 plus, and especially when they're, they're you know, two, three thousand dollars um, per job and then they're booking in you know, 50%, sometimes 80% of the calls that they're getting uh, because people have already been doing their research and the retargeting's happening and so forth. Um, it's massive. They can't do it. They can't even do that many jobs. So what do they do? Just keep putting their prices up. Perfect. You know? Instead of doing a swimming pool for 40 grand, you're doing the same one for 100 grand now because you can. Okay? You know, these guys are obviously doing window cleanings. There's so many other examples that we've got. But remember, uh, two-part system. You, you have to set up your, your maps. It has to be set up correctly. It has to be ranking across the board to dominate so you get that dual effect. You get the maps listings and then it gets pushed into SEO as well. So it appears there, all right? And literally, it's probably the only thing you're gonna ever need. That's for the majority of businesses that we work with, that's all they actually need. It's just keeping that maps listing pumping, all right? Uh, but then the Omni retargeting system, which I showed you about, if you want to scale up, even if it's only for a particular three or four months of the year and then, and then turn it off, you use it when you need to, to pump those leads and conversions through. If you're just flat out hardcore and you want to keep growing your business, we'll just turn that baby on and just keep going, okay? Keep powering ahead. And so this, this is life changing. This is life changing stuff. All right, it was for me, has been for a lot of other people that we work with, all right? Because if, if you've been always wondering, oh, well, I don't know, in the next year, well, I mean, we might get a couple of jobs off this person, we might sell some products over here, uh, we might be able to do this. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure, I don't know. I'll think about it tomorrow. If you're wondering, if that's the way that you're approaching your business, you have a little bit of fear of where work's coming from, this is it, this changes that. All right? And the best thing, you remember when I showed you that, um, particular, that um, particular trend graph, I'll just try and find it now. Do, 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 there. This is going in one direction. All right? It is going in one direction, it is going one way. And when it's going in this direction and only a, a, a tiny amount of businesses, one, two percent of businesses are doing this, you know that you're in the right place at the right time, all right? You know, and you can see, and you know there's no mystery about Google Maps. I'm sure you use it yourself. I'd be very surprised if there's someone on the webinar who hasn't used it themselves, that it's, you can understand what I'm talking about here, okay? So there's no, no, no magic wand, no mystery, okay? So it's life-changing stuff to be at this point in time and learning this and then being able to implement it, all right? So would you agree that you actually learned some pretty good content in the past hour or, or however long we've been going? I hope you have. I hope you would agree it was actually time well spent, that you've actually had your eyes opened here and you've seen some options and some possibilities, things that you might even want to do yourself or at least a road that you can run. And of course, I can't cover everything because if I start talking forever, you get me talking and uh, we'll be here all day. We'll probably be here all week. Uh, so we can't cover it all in the webinar. But like I was saying, you can obviously take away and do the things that you've seen and learned in the webinar. But I'm also now going to give you an offer so you can just get everything that you need and you can get it done. No mucking around. Okay. And if you act fast, I'm going to give you a really special deal. So I'm going to offer you a done for you solution. Okay? And so the done for you solution is us actually setting up your maps account, getting it optimized, setting up your tracking inside the account, making sure it's covering the areas that it should be appearing in. Okay? We're going to start creating those authority links. We're going to go out to those other sites. We're going to build your first 50, then your 100, then 150, 200, 300, 500, whatever it takes because we're guaranteeing that we're gonna get you onto that first page of those rankings, all right? And I'm gonna talk about that money back guarantee in, in just a moment. So you know, there's like no risk, all right? This is a done for you offer without risk, okay? And on top of that, 
the onboarding call to get you started because what basically you go um, below and you can actually click on it and get started and you'll see there's two different options there if you already have a maps listing that you believe is ultra optimized and you're probably paying other people SEO and doing all these other things you'll have there's an option there for us just purely to do the rankings part of your actual listing okay and then you'll see the second option which is us doing everything including the, the setup and creation and, and the whole kit and caboodle okay as well all right so we've given going to give you those two different options because we appreciate that some people may have gone out and spent a lot of time in uh, setting up their maps accounts but they just now need it to really dominate and, and kick butt with those actual rankings okay so you got those two different options that are there and the the, the onboarding call that you're going to get is going to be is going to make everything very simple. It's not going to be something where we're going to be like, oh, basically we need you to give us everything and we're going to make you do it for us and we tricked you. No, we're going to literally do everything. We're just going to get those few details that we need off you. No, I'm not going to waste your time, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, or unless you've got questions and whatever, we're going to have a chat uh, so we can get started, so we can actually start ranking. And we're going to throw in a bonus down the track Normally, we have $500 consulting um, sessions with people for 30 minutes. So an hour could be $1,000. So we're going to give you a quarterly strategy session just for free. We're going to do it to, to show you what's happening. So that'll be in three months uh, or even earlier if because if, um, the results can come through a lot quicker uh, often, oftentimes. And so... Once you get up there, then we'll do, we have a review, we go through the strategy of what's happening, we go through the results, we go through your, the offers that you've got, talk about your competitors and things like that, all right? So that's gonna be a bonus, we're gonna throw, throw that in absolutely free. And when you look at those costs, it's pretty crazy value that you're actually getting. It's pretty crazy value, it's a lot of money, and it's time. What you're paying for is time. You're paying money to save yourself time, and you're paying someone else probably 20% of what you'd pay yourself to go and spend all their time and weeks working on it. Okay? So crazy amount of value, especially for the price, which you can see there below the video. Okay? So if, if all we did here was give you that edge to grow your business at a ridiculous rate, would it be worth it? Of course. If we give you maybe just the wow factor, where people say, go, wow, man, those guys are really good. They're, they're cool. They're like fully set up. This, yeah, this, yeah. If we can give you that wow factor, would it be worth it? Highly likely for your reputation. All right? If we can give you that power to be that leader in your industry, where people go, oh, yeah, oh, those guys, well, they're really, they're the ones that are basically leading the industry because they see you everywhere because you're omnipresent with the way that you're approaching your marketing, to have that type of authority, would it be worth it? Yes, clearly. Is it gonna work for you? You've probably got all these questions or you've been thinking about them and losing attention all the way through. If your customers are in a geographic area, then yes, because remember, this is the people looking for something physically in a certain area. If you offer a product or service, yes, it still works. If you're a tradesman, you're a mum and dad shop, franchisee, you could be a lawyer, dentist, restaurant, gym. Where, when, when there are people physically located around you, you know, even if it's within a 50 kilometer, 100 kilometer radius of you, it works. It just has to be set up specific to what you're trying to achieve. So if you're targeting people nationally, Australia wide, it does work, it's the same thing, but it just needs to be done over and over. We need to set it up in a location. That's the whole point when I was saying you can scale up. It's just about doing the same thing over and over, okay? So wanna go down that road? You wanna absolutely kill it? Yes, can be done. You just contact us if you wanna go after a national campaign and chat about it, okay? Uh, there's obviously the chat icon. You can submit the form, you can give us a call. Um, and like I was saying, if you already have a, a Maps account that you believe is purely set up incredibly uh, already, and you just want us to then push it up, then there's, a, a, there's another a price option below. Because the thing is, 
you might be available in a certain area, but to get more business, you need to have control over your radius and you need to have control over how the rankings are, are working in that area, okay? And using Omni retargeting, of course, is going to allow you to expand and increase those, those higher conversions as well, okay? So it has to be optimized correctly, and then of course the higher conversions come in when you use the actual retargeting. And there's another little secret about that. Uh, it can actually be set up where you only pay a, a fixed price per lead. Yeah, we can actually set it up in, in the platforms where you say, you know what, it's only worth me spending $15 on a lead. It's only worth me spending, or, or rather, I'm willing to spend $150 because I want absolutely everything that's out there and I want to kill the competition. Possible, all right? Setting up the campaigns on a pay per lead basis is actually one of the, the best parts for a lot of people. So keep, keep that one in mind as well. Pretty powerful stuff. And so keep in mind that this is a two part system and you really only need to, to actually get started with the first part, which is really just setting everything up uh, to dominate those Google Maps listings and, and start getting uh, that, that traffic through. And when it comes to the actual scaling up part, the, the actual ad spend is not that is not that big as we spoke about previously. Um, it could start anywhere from a couple of hundred bucks up to you know a couple of thousand, depending on whether you've got a small business, you've got three, five people, ten people, fifteen. Uh, how many mouths do you need to feed? How, how much business uh, do you need to bring in? And then obviously we just scale uh, according to that. Okay, and so when you actually think about the the the, the done for you system that I was talking about, it basically means it's going to get, it's going to all be, it's, we're going to do everything. Okay. You're going to get the results. Okay. So getting started with that, that actual, um, the done for you system also comes with, as I was saying before, comes with a money back guarantee. Okay. Because I could be sitting here sprouting off about all these things that, that uh, apparently are so wonderful. Well, if it's so wonderful, we'll do it. And, if you can't do it, I want my money back. Okay, we will get you up into the the on, onto page one of, of the Google Maps rankings um, for the actual area of your Google Maps account. Uh, otherwise, we'll refund you a hundred percent of your payment. All right, but you're going to give us at least four to six months. It usually takes two to three to be able to get those results. But of course. We'll give a little, give ourselves a bit of a buffer zone because if it doesn't happen, well, we've then got to re-implement all of these additional things and do all this extra work, which then has to take effect. Uh, so obviously, pretty reasonable just to allow us that little bit of extra time. Um, and when it really comes down to it, and even from a legal point of view, we don't control Google, so we can't guarantee the results in full. But we can give you a risk-free offer that we'll, we're going to do this. Don't have to be worried about the risk. And if it turns out that it's not going to uh, end up happening the way um, that we've basically promising here on, on this money back back guarantee um, offer, well, you know, don't worry about it. No hard feelings. Uh, you get your money back. You don't lose anything. All right? Okay? So you can't turn around to us after a couple of weeks and go, oh, it's not happening. I want my money back. You wake up in the morning. No, I want that money back. I've just changed my mind. We're talking about money back guarantee on those results. So you can have the confidence that we're going to get those results for you. Now, we can only take on, we only want to take on uh, a certain number of businesses. This is our a beta offer that we're actually uh, going to give you. If you get started now, it's only going to be a one-time cost, right? We're not locking you in to a, a contract for $1,000 a month for 12 months or anything like that. One-time cost. We're only going to take on 30 businesses at, at this actual particular price, okay? So you click below, you check out, and then you automatically then enroll into your onboarding call, all right? This is the solution to getting that constant flow of new customers and having control over it, having control over that ability to amplify it as you wish okay this and i mean the, the question really that you should be asking yourself is is it worth investing in one thing that's going to make all the other things 
that I do better? Can I have this one epicenter that amplifies everything, supercharges everything? And even if it did half of what I'm claiming uh, today on this webinar, it's going to pay for itself, you know, five times, ten times over in, in, in record time. And so when you think of that, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's not a real, it's, it's a no-brainer. So if you're sitting there and you're like, nah, I'm not going to do it, maybe you're saying because you're not a techie. And maybe you're sitting there thinking, man, I can't do that. And so I would assume that you, you might think, well, I don't, I don't get it. I'm not technical and I'm not a marketing person, okay? And so the whole point of having a done-for-you system at the end of the day is us actually carrying out those technical things. You, you, you've got no, not, not much time, us taking the time to actually uh, put those things into, into action and also giving you the results, uh, that we're talking about. So you don't need to be really good at marketing. That's the whole point of us being here. All right? You don't need to be a techie. That's the whole point of us being here. All right. So we're going to take care of you uh, and take care of everything that needs to be done. All right. Um, we want to show you that if you're going to turn to someone, especially when it comes to the price, you might think, "What's well, some people who actually do really understand <laughs> what we're offering? They're like, it's ridiculous. How are they going to even do it for that price? That's, there's no way." We, we, we can because we want to show you that we are the people that you want to be working with, all right? In the future, when you want to do new things, when you want to expand, when you want to change your website, whatever it is, we, we want you to look at us and go, they're the guys that I want to be using for this. So that's why we're giving you such a, a, such a sensational offer, giving you that extra value just to show you guys that we want to earn your business and not just today, but down the road as well. Okay, that's really what we're looking at doing. So a lot of people do have time to, to set certain things up, but then they don't know, I guess, how to do it in a, in a way that's going to guarantee results. And so that is the whole point of us being here. And then you've got your other people who are flat out, absolutely flat out. Now, they don't have time, but now there's a trust issue because they're like, well, how do I know this guy's going to actually do it well? Uh, because you're so busy, you're not completely sort of putting your, your energy into comprehending it. I'm sure you could, well and truly smart enough, um, but you might just think, mm, not sure about the trust factor. But that's why we're also giving you that particular guarantee with the work, all right? Don't need to stress out uh, about the money, okay? And so just to review, taking up it's only a one-time cost. There's no, no recurring charges or anything on your card. Okay, You get the Omni Google Maps set up, completely set up, all the tracking completely set up, everything we've talked about. We continue to build those authority reputation links in all of the different areas necessary. We just keep doing it for you over and over, week after week after week after week, pushing you into those rankings that we're guaranteeing. Okay? We just keep doing it because we know we can do it right, okay? And the, and the easy part is the, the onboarding call uh, to be able to maximize uh, the value for your own personal time. You've already given it to us by watching this webinar um, and, and we're going to make it nice and easy for you to, to get it all going and, and kick it all off pretty quick, all right? And if you do want to take the extra step and do the Omni retargeting, Monthly, you get your monthly optimization, you get new reviews and campaign building on your maps and your SEO results. We create those hundreds of ads, 124 ads uh, every single month to be able to do all of the different uh, omni-targeting frequency, um, uh, different things to, to avoid banner blindness and things like that. We're going to create, we create all those ads. All right, you can have constant email support to us and we can work along with you. And like I said, we can even set it up so that you only pay for a set price per lead if you so wish, uh, because that is a possibility uh, in, inside the ad, the ad platform, so do it like that. Um, so, and, and, and as, as discussed as well, we're gonna have our quarterly strategy session that's a bonus um, to be able to review everything so that we keep propelling you forward. You remember, there's a lot of people out there, maybe you too, industries are getting competitive. People are struggling to make their marketing profitable. They're stuck without a real plan 
to keep getting more customers so that they can grow their, their base and even they might want to raise their prices because things are just getting more expensive in life. How can you raise your prices when you don't even have a plan to get more customers? So I hope that what you've learned today is going to change that for you. So this is the solution and it has, it has a money back guarantee. But like I said, we're only going to be taking on those 30 businesses at this particular price because this is just a one-off price. Right? It's not monthly like um, normally takes place with, especially with most marketing, all right? So you click the button below, enroll in the program, and we'll schedule, for, schedule you in for the onboarding call, and I look forward to working along with you.